I am Anami Gumarang, BM3 student. In today's video, I will be describing globalization, explain what multiliteracy is, and answer the question, how can you teach multiliteracy in the classroom? First, let us describe globalization. Globalization is the word used to describe the growing interdependence of the world's economies, cultures, and populations brought about by cross-border trade in goods and services, technology, and flows of investment, people, and information. In simple words, globalization means the spreading of a business, culture, or any technology on an international level. When the boundaries of countries and continents matter no more, and the whole world becomes one global village in itself. The examples of globalization are trade, immigration, communication, media and entertainment, and culture. Second, let us explain what multiliteracy is. Now, being literate does not only imply being able to read and write but also knowing how to interact in a variety of ways. A concept calling for a broader review of literacy, also referred to as new literacies or multi-literacies. The concept is based on the assumption that individuals read the world and make sense of information by means other than traditional reading and writing. Multi-literacy is a term coined in the mid-1990s by the New London Group. It is an approach to literacy theory and pedagogy. This approach highlights two key aspects of literacy, namely linguistic diversity and multimodal forms of linguistic expression and representation. The term was coined in response to two significant changes in globalized environments, the proliferation of diverse modes of communication through new communications technologies such as the internet, multimedia, and digital media, and the existence of growing linguistic and cultural diversity due to increased transnational migration because the way people communicate is changing due to new technologies. Third, let us answer the question, how can you teach multiliteracy in the classroom? Traditionally, literacy has referred to the ability to read and write. A literate person can communicate effectively through writing and assimilate information from reading. However, in today's technology-driven world, the word literacy has expanded to encompass an ability to communicate effectively and absorb information through a variety of mediums. The term multiple literacies is also called new literacies or multiple literacies which recognizes that there are many ways to relay and receive information and students need to be proficient in each one. For me, in order for us to teach multiliteracy, we need first to understand technology ourselves. How can I teach multiliteracy in the classroom? As an educator, I will look for ways to engage my colleagues in the technology that their students are using, such as social media, blogging, and gaming. In addition, I will provide opportunities for my students. Without activities, my students should be able to learn to locate, evaluate, and process information and communicate what they have learned to others. Yeah.